Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I have the sticks. We're playing Madden 19, young lady. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fair enough. We're playing that Madden 19. Uh, Austin, De I can't even speak now. <laughs> I'm just Austin Desperado's relocated franchise. Uh-huh. As always, playing that offense only, Simon that. Simon the D. Watch out, young ladies. <laughs> you watch out, young ladies. TNT Dynamite's on prowl. Yeah, right? Fucking using that balanced playbook. Playing Madden 19, young ladies. <laughs> I'm so not expecting <laughs> anything. You could have said anything. I said you could have been like Kim Jong Un, and I would have been like, ah, that's probably. More. I would have never in a million years guessed well, you'd say Jonas, look, we have to respect the ladies out there. You absolutely do. That is, uh, what? first and foremost. What, respecting women's? Yeah, man. Good, I'm glad you feel that I way. I do, absolutely. So you ain't never smacked a bitch? Oh, never, ever, dude. <laughs> Me either. Dude, wow. We got <laughs> something in common, <laughs> Josh. We have in common. We've never abused women. Go, go us. Have you ever been hit by a woman? Uh, I think Ooh. I told this story before. Like, I was at that uh, concert, and that girl was trying to, like, oh, hit me. Oh, yeah. Because, like, she was trying to steal the Fago bottle out of my yeah, buddy's wait, wait. pants. Tell it, tell it again. It's a good story. It's a quick story. Uh, we were at a Insane Clown Posse concert. And, like, uh, don't say we, motherfucker. I was not there. Uh, I was there with a friend. I know better. And uh, Yeah, we're not friends. What? And what? <laughs> we're not friends. <laughs> yeah. said, you were there with a friend. Yeah, like, we're yeah. definitely not friends. Yeah. And uh, they always used to, like... <laughs> Splash the crowd with Fago dog and throw the Fago bottles in the crowd. Fago dogs. And uh, one of my buddies, my buddy who was there, got the bottle. And this girl's like basically assaulting him, trying to like pull it out of his pants. And I said something along the lines of, like, why don't you get the fuck off him or something like that. And then she like turned at me and like started like, like pushing me and shit. And I just turned around like to not pay attention to her. And she just kept pushing me. And eventually she just like walked away. She kept pushing you, and she started hitting you in the back of the head. Oh, that's she right. Yeah she, yeah, she was hitting me in the back of the head. Not, like, punching me, but, like, pushing me in the back of the head and shit. And I was like, I just, I just turned around, watched the show, completely ignored her. It wasn't like she was, like, hitting me. Like, she wasn't full-on assaulting me, but she was hitting me nonetheless. Jo Jonas, it is not nice to put your hands on anybody. I didn't put my hand on anybody. What? I'm not saying that you did. I'm saying oh. for her. Oh, oh not, absolutely, not. dude. If I would have been, if, so, if, if it would have been another guy who wasn't me. Let's say if it were me. <laughs> what if do you think? What do you think might have happened if it would be, Jonas? Uh, you probably would have turned around and threatened her and gave her one chance to stop. You are right. <laughs> you would have been like, bitch, if you don't stop. It wouldn't have been that nice. <laughs> You're being way too nice. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, man, I, I am yeah, not no, trying to fucking have this chick assault me. I was like, dude, I was a minor. I was like 17 years old or something. Well, she was up. probably young as fuck too. Yeah, probably. I don't even remember. I I couldn't even tell you what she looked like. Yeah. At all. Yeah, dude. It was. It was. Uh, that's the. But no, I've never. No, dude. Yeah, man. I don't. I know. think the only time I would hit a woman if she was trying to like come at me with like a knife or something like that. If your life were in danger. Yeah. Look, even if they hit punched me, I wouldn't just punch them back. I'm not gonna lie, man. Sometimes my reaction is to swing back. So <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, it's like sometimes you don't know how you're gonna react. I mean, to I guess that's true, but like, I don't think I would. Like, unless, mm. like, if you were coming at me with a gun or a knife or a whatever, and you were like coming at me, like, yeah. I would try to protect myself first. But if it was like blatantly clear you were trying to maim me or kill me, and see, my my whole thing there is that Jones, you're talking about a reaction to a situation that you've never been in. That you've never that's been true, in. I guess. It, and I'm just telling you right now is that I do have a, t a, a tendency to swing back. <laughs> so Just in general, if anyone. Yeah, uh, well, I feel like uh, I'm not the only person that suffers from this condition. <laughs> All right? It's a pretty pretty normal reaction. It's a pretty common position, condition that when one is hit, their first intention is I have to hit back. Right, right, right. It's Defend fight yourself. or flight, yeah, motherfucker. Right, 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 right. I, there's nowhere to run. So I would suggest that, that oh. nobody, man, female, 
Female. <laughs> man or female, dude. Nobody put their hands on me. I, yeah. Man, I, I in turn will never put my hands right. on anybody Yeah, I've else. never I've never hit anyone for any reason. Well, I can't say that, John. I've been in some fights. <laughs> but I've never hit a woman, and I would never want to. But sometimes it, it's just. So she came at you acting fool and hit you. Yeah, yeah. Then you may not involuntarily just like immediately like. Yeah, I would be I would be sorry immediately. Right, 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 right. right. But it does not protect you from, you know, just don't don't do that. Right. Why would you? Like I don't think anyone should put their hands on anyone. Period. Man to woman, man to man, man female, any combination. All right. Here's my here's my my uh, validation for this. I would never try to fight Mike Tyson. Or Floyd Mayweather. Right, let's right, right. Be, any let's, any yeah. professional fighter. Yes. Me being six foot three, fucking two hundred and sixty pounds. Why would you, as a woman, attempt to fight me? <laughs> I guess that's that is thing. not smart. I'm twice most of these chicks' size. Why would you try to fight? Yeah, them? I feel, you know it's like I don't know. I think that, but I mean it's, it's the same thing. But like, okay, I mean, how do I want to say this? I think it's funny because part of the reason you've been in less fights probably is because people were just intimidated to the point where they're like i don't want to fuck with that dude he's not a small man like a lot of dudes are smaller than you and don't try to fight you because of your size let you alone like a fucking five foot 200 pound woman will just try to smack you i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie it was nice going out last night and realizing that i was the tallest dude there <laughs> in our group at yeah least. yeah i was just like oh yeah. Everybody here's a little bit shorter. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've 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 been in the similar a similar thing. Like, I mean, I'm I'm a fairly nice dude to begin with, but like, I'm not a small man. Like, you know, so it's like. But yeah, you 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 better not go out there hitting woman. I see. I would never say go out there and just attack woman or try to like use that to control. No, oh, dude, people who hit women are stupid. Yeah, that's some, that's some ill shit. Bullshit, dude. Yeah, there's no reason to like... On the same gonna... term, I would not try to fight Ronda Rousey, Jonas. She'd probably kick your ass, dude. I would not. Like, I could never... Me and Ronda are dating now, okay? All right. <laughs> I want you this... to imagine this. Me and Ronda are dating. Um, I find out that she's been cheating with Jonas. All right. And I'm like, Ronda, I can't believe you're doing this. You're fucking Jonas now. <laughs> I am not going to start pushing Ronda Rousey around the house or even attempting to because she's going to push back. <laughs> she's right? Gonna, she's going to kick your ass. <laughs> Any, it wouldn't even have to be Ronda Rousey. Any female UFC fighter. Oh, period. yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I think they had something about that recently where some dude tried to sexually assault yeah UFC. dude she, she was an mma fighter and she yeah. like beat the shit out of him she beat the fuck yeah he tried to grope her or something and she just whooped his she ass and pinned him to the ground and shit and held him till the cops got there they had like a picture of him like all dejected on the sidewalk because she was like sit here and wait for the cops <laughs> Joan, how do you feel about that double standard what flip those roles and tell me would you be what do you mean flip those roles if, like, a woman tried to grope on you and you beat the shit out of her for that? Is that not a double stand? It's like, you're oh, just wow. saying it. Like wow. Change the whole mood in the, in the room. <laughs> just saying it changed the whole like, mood in the room. I mean, it's not right for anyone to grope anyone if it's not wanted. So, I mean, but, yeah, like, but I guess, like. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I didn't. I've never thought about that in a million years. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, it is. Cause like, yeah, it cause is. like, you know, no, like I'm a guy. I don't want a random woman I don't know or what just to come up and grab my crotch. The same that a woman doesn't want a dude to come up and grab her crotch. Yeah, but are you gonna be beat her to no. the point where she's guys where she has to go to the emergency room? No, dude. Yeah, no. it seems like it sounds so fucked up, but that's literally what she did. Oh, we were just dude. cracking up about oh, it. Oh, booty butts. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to get that out of here. I'm beating up any bit. Okay. No, listen, that was a joke. That was a joke. Wow. I don't want anybody putting their hands on anybody. That's the thing, man. I like, it's, yeah, whether it's, whether it's sexual or for physical or whatever, yeah. just don't touch anyone unless you know it's welcome. They were, like, I was talking to a, a lady at my job, and we were talking about uh, Bow Wow, Shad Moss. Oh, uh, didn't he? Didn't he? he Oh, yeah, we watched the video where he was, like, screaming at somebody in the elevator. They didn't show him hit her, though, right? No. It didn't Did he show hit her? Or was he just yelling at her? I don't know. It's still in deliberation. I don't even know if they've had the trial yet. But uh, the pictures that happened after that encounter where he was arguing with his girlfriend, he looked like he he sustained the brunt of the damage. Oh, like she beat his ass? Like, his 
forehead was all scratched up and he had like bruises on his face. Like she fought back. Right. Or she might have initiated she was the, the fight. Abuser in the, in <laughs> she might have been the initiator. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, that happens. It's not as common, but there's definitely, like, abusive relationships where yeah. the woman is the one abusing the guy. Like, yeah. it's not always physical. could be mental, whatever. Exactly, but it's man. physical, too. There are relationships where but the woman is beating the man. The lady at my job started laughing after I told her about this. I'm like... Well, that's kind of fucked up because flip those roles. Are you laughing then? No. Right, right, right. It's like uh, You're like not. Christine Aguilera. They have a video of her screaming at her boyfriend in an elevator. Then they show the after pictures and like she's beat the shit beat out of her and her boyfriend looks fine. Then you're just like, that dude's a piece of shit. Beat, beat up his <laughs> woman. That woman might be a piece of shit. Dude, don't, don't hit anybody. It's not don't necessary. Don't hit anyone, dude. Women, exactly. man, anything. I think they need to up animals. The, I think they need to up the consequences for getting domestic into a, violence. I, dude, I agree that one hundred percent, dude. Well, not just for domestic violence, but for putting your hands on fucking anybody. That's true. We they break. should do eye for an eye. Like if you like hit someone and they bru- <laughs> and they bru- and you bruise their face, someone gets to like punch you in the face and bruise your face up back. Jonas, this ain't fucking ancient Egypt, <laughs> motherfucker, and you are not Hammurabi. <laughs> and cut off your hand for stealing a loaf of bread. Jesus <laughs> Christ, man, that's barbaric. Why, dude? If you have if you have the gall to punch a man in the face for no reason or whatever reason, why shouldn't you get punched in the face back? Jesus, Joe, this eye for an eye is just, like, terrible, though. Somebody steals all your money? You should take all their goddamn money well, back. See, Joe, you're going to make me get dark with it. Oh. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I don't want to do it. We're, I was supposed to be having fun in these videos. All right, all right, all right. You're going to make me get real you're dark. You're talking about, like, spousal abuse. That's not fun. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm, yes, I'm the one who took it to a dark no, place. Joan, it's just some lighthearted spousal abuse. God. Just some lighthearted. Jesus. But yeah, dude, I think dude, I think a general rule of thumb I've had in my whole life, even like, you know, even like people Yo. who are out like at a bar trying to pick up people, they always like will be handsy. Like anytime. Oh, yeah, I'm like, super handsy I never when I'm drunk. I touch anyone if I know, unless oh. I know like <laughs> it's mind. like, all right. Like, I, just a general, I think that maybe I was taught that as a kid. Like, you don't, like, put your hands on people. You don't, like, whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm a little handsy when I when I get drunk, but I don't know. But not, you aren't abusing nobody. You aren't, no, like, you're not yeah. grabbing them in the crotch and yeah, stuff. Like, putting like, your hand on their back is different than grabbing their crotch. Yeah, like, if, if I'm interested in a girl and we're talking, we're having a good time or some shit. Like, I'm not just going to go up and touch any girl on the waist. But right, I'm right. definitely gonna. If I'm well, talking, you're also to not you, gonna grab them like you're like talking for three minutes and put your hand on their boob or their crotch or something. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what abuse. I mean, does that like. work? Is that, is I don't. That's like that's groping. That's like not. Is that a proven method? It worked. For, my point is, it, you talking to a girl and putting your hand on her waist is a lot different than you walking up and grabbing her crotch. I mean, it, it worked for the president, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Well, <laughs> he he thought it worked. He thought a lot of things work, like calling a national... Jonas, I mean, you what? don't want to get political. I, there's no politics on this channel. You already are going there. I didn't say it. And one day we'll discuss our political issues. One, on the podcast. Oh, I don't think I don't so. want to do that. I don't want to do that either. I don't, but dude, we've done... Because how many episodes? Five, six, we, well, including best. I think we've done like 46 like true episodes without any like... Um, best of episodes or anything. Do. And we've never talked politics on it, period. Like, we've maybe made a one off joke about something, but never. To be 100%, we've never really talked politics off camera. No, either. dude. Well, yeah. But we always tried to have the podcast not be a traditional, like, pop culture, politics, movies, music, sports sort of thing. We talk I mean, about fucked up shit. Everybody's a little skewed, though. And the way the state of politics right now is a lot of people feel very strongly about however they feel. Yeah, right? And they're allowed. Yeah. Go however the hell you want. So, yeah, but we, we never have talked politics. I don't talk politics, period, ever. Yeah, you never talk politics. But never. I'm like, fucking dude, I but live. We live in the same house. I have never, dude, I don't never talk politics with anyone. Very rarely. No, nah, we're talking politics. On the podcast? No, dude. That's oh, just mean you guys sit around and talk about world issues? You know what? Never mind. Actually, that sounds terrible. Dude, it's just not fun to me. Like, I'm not passionate about it at all. No. That's like me talking about fucking gardening. <laughs> I'm not into gardening neither. Mm, 
not a big gardener. Don't have a green thumb. I mean, like, I would plant some shit and grow the shit and eat it, but, like, I don't... I mean, like, I don't want to talk technique with you. You know what I mean? Like, if I plant some watermelons or some cantaloupes and they grow, awesome. If I had a farm, it'd be different, but I don't. Like, right now, like, I'm not going to... Dude, I would never survive on a farm. <laughs> that dude last night was telling me about his farm. Oh, Farmer John! Dude, I can't do that. He's legit a farmer. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. That's too much. You know, big props to all of our farmers uh, out there. Because they support this country. They do, man. You are the backbone to the American standard. You know, someone is the strawberry department at HEB. I enjoy strawberries. Dude, I love strawberries. Favorite fruit, Joe. This bowl. Favorite fruit? Yeah. Strawberries. 100%. Uh, I'm, I'm very fond of a lot of fruits. Um, strawberries are definitely one of them. Uh, watermelon, cantaloupe, apples are probably my four yeah. favorite. Oranges. I would probably say grapefruit. Oh, God. It's one I don't like. It's like the only <laughs> fruit I don't like is grapefruit. grapefruit. I don't like eating grapefruit, but I love the juice that comes from it. Oh, I got you. It. I got you. It is the fucking bomb diggity. My then favorite I, juice then, is cranberry juice. Then 100%. Maybe, then juice. maybe lemons after that, I guess. Yeah. It's like weird fruit. I like citri. But like, like, what fruit do you like to eat? What? You can't eat a lemon? You don't just, you just sit around and eat lemons? I love the way lemons taste. I mean, they're, they're good. good no. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I like fruit salad. Mm, grapes. White grapes. Well, green grapes, I guess they'd be. Uh, oh, those are good, man. You know, grapes are all right, man, but they don't do anything. No. They don't. <laughs> they don't fill you up. You just, like, pop them in your mouth, and then they're gone. I'm <laughs> I mean, like, what, why like did I even food. eat that? Why do you eat it? Yeah, you why do it taste good? Nah, dude, get the fuck out of here. So like bananas are alright. Oh I yeah, I like bananas too. Man. Yeah, those are those are pretty like, universal. You can do too much banana though. You know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah. It's like bananas, like one of those things that like it's a fine line between enough and too much. Yeah. Especially I like, if it's in something. I like a powerful taste though. Like okay. apples are too subdued for me, I think. Okay. And I don't like the texture. It's like biting in the styrofoam. Yeah, but dude, there's many different types of apples. Like sometimes, like I don't like some apples, but I really enjoy other ones. They all are like biting into styrofoam. No, they're not. Um, I'm pretty sure. Some of them are like eating a cork board. Other ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are even worse. <laughs> yeah, man. dude. I don't like those. Fuji apples are sweet and they're very soft. They aren't like biting into styrofoam. I mean, this is like maybe it's like a packing peanut. Then pack. Oh, that's a little bit dude, softer, right? That's gross. <laughs> what? Packing peanuts. Ew. That's gross. Dude, eating a packing peanut sounds like the most undesirable thing I've ever heard. <laughs> what? Yeah, we don't use those anymore. Oh, dude, that's like fucking landfill, Phil. Jonas, I was at a restaurant today and I saw a man reading a news paper. Really? Yes. Was he, okay. Okay, in the comments, put if you think he was yeah. over or under 60 years old. What, what, right oh, right now. You think I asked him? No, 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 no. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Put that in the comments. <laughs> TNT. Did was, you give him a minute? Was, you gave him time? Did pause it and put it in the comments. <laughs> uh, I shanked the shit out of that one. Oh, God, I got it. <laughs> what are you doing? You're like, hold on, pause. Okay. Everything. Uh, <laughs> Stop. Was, was he was he a gray hair? Yeah, dude, he was a silver fox. Silver fox. <laughs> he was a silver fox. So he looked over sixty. Uh, I guess probably. I mean, he wasn't under sixty. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you. Did that, he but... did he have a flip phone? <laughs> <laughs> was it a Star Tech? Yeah. Did he have a Nokia? <laughs> did, did he have a BlackBerry carrying case? Oh God! Did he have? You remember phones Palm had pilot. carrying cases? Uh, nobody remembers that. Oh, bitch! Damn, dude. He's up to 117, friends. You know, this game is closer than I prefer. Yeah, me too, dude. We've been talking. I'm drunk right now. Are you? Ooh, I shouldn't have said that on YouTube. They're going to find us. Are they? They, they might. Find, they find people for that? <laughs> no, they don't. I don't think so. Yeah. I hope not. Well, we aren't going to get any Disney ads. That for oh, you heard about that. I did, dude. The fucking that Disney and who else was it? Uh, it was somebody else. Oh, that. my God. This dude, Smiley Riley, just jumped up and grabbed the goddamn ice cream out of the sky. He was like a root beer float waiting to happen. <laughs> Blammo. Jonas, we're going to have to go to Twitch. Forever? 
Maybe, man. I mean, we will. We can. I mean, we could really just be twitching right now if we had better equipment. Yeah. Well, could we twitch through my computer and then record with yours still? We I think could. we tried that and it didn't work. Oh, and record on mine? Yeah. Twi we could try, but I think we have the same issue. Oh, it's still... Yeah, we have an issue with the, the resolution, right? Yeah, it like makes... Yeah. Especially like in this game, like the field looks like a goddamn chessboard when you run around. Even like... And our, we have gigabit internet. We I don't... I think we're just going to have to spring for this this uh, better router. But I don't even... Damn it. I don't even know if that's going <laughs> to fix the problem. <laughs> Ciao! Like, but dude, the videos that were recorded directly on Twitch did the same thing. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't even us recording it. Yeah, but you mean, you got a good point. If we twitch from your computer and record on mine, and we're not doubled in double in the processor, mm -hmm. it may that may help. That may work. All right, we can right. try that. Because I would love to twitch this live while we record. Still put these videos up on YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be great, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's possible. And then we could talk to our subscribers. Right. Even if, while uh, we're doing this, that would be great, dude. Because I could sit here with a computer on my lap and I could I be know. talking. Oh my God, he's dead. He? Why did you murder him? Yeah, like I would, I would definitely enjoy doing that. And I just, but like, what may happen though is it may be able to record pretty good quality on my computer if it's like sending. If we're just taking the output. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Because we don't even have to steal the video off Twitch. We can just like, yeah, we'll try it. And then we could just uh, port everything over to yeah, YouTube. Yeah, maybe we can try that next week or something. We got shit to do this week because like we we sit down on sunday and we basically do what like three hours we do a couple sometimes we do like sometimes some, even longer yeah, yeah. just because we can fit into our schedules i mean so we could just say like on tuesdays we do the podcast and on sunday and monday nights. sundays you're gonna hear us play through some Madden and some, some of other our game, and then we may do a Monday night here or there, a random. But like if we did Sunday nights and Tuesday nights, and then any other random time it just happened to pop up. That's fine. Jonas, that's making my dick hard. Wow. And that's that's a that's I mean, a reference we even, to it we makes me put, excited. We could even like put that. face cam on. Uh, I mean, we could, but how? On your computer, we have the. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, was it gonna look at both of us? We'll have to have it like just in the room. Do you want to like sit closer to me or no, something? No, dude. Are I you don't trying to sit in my lap, dude? Do you want? Do you want to sit in my I lap? I don't. Are you sure? I know you want to sit in Smiley Riley. Oh my God, he's coming in for the cleaner role. I just wanted to ask if anybody saw Jonas's D get asked <laughs> <laughs> last night on the podcast. <laughs> Tell yeah. me what you thought, man. Look, I was trying my best, all right? You know, it's hard. And Jonas, he's he makes me cringe, and I love him for it, but <laughs> I he's... I try to make you cringe so much. <laughs> it's, it's the worst. It, I do it so much just because I know how you feel about it. How would you feel about that story that Jonas told about things? Dude, it was so good. <laughs> yeah, Jonas. We missed out. The replay's going up today. Is it? So you're going to do the replay the day after? Every time? Uh, I'll try to, yeah. Because I always have to encode it and put it up. Probably the, either that night or the next day, yeah. <laughs> so, if you haven't guessed, it's still the same day. Yeah! <laughs> Jonas, do you realize how far in the future we could go, though? In what? Like, you know how... Like, we could go as, as far in the future as we want to go in these episodes. We really can. Because we were talking about what's going to happen on Tuesday. Yeah. Let's talk about what's going to happen. Can you believe that Obama got the presidency again in 2020? Nowhere. Like, I know, right? Oh, we're just... Oh, we're just <laughs> this, is, this one's coming out on 2020 now. Yeah, dude. No, it's not that it's coming out on 2020. It just depends on when it hits somebody's ears. Oh, I how got relevant you. it is! Yeah, there was a song I used to listen to, and he would be like, "If he say what 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 would he what he say in the song?" He was all like, "Da da 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 da." What, if it, it's twenty whatever year the song made, and he's like, "And if it's what? he goes, and if it's twenty forty, turn this bitch up a little louder." And I was like, "Oh, see, yeah, yeah we can do that. Yeah, we can so, do that." Yeah, he was talking about whatever year the song. Oh, who was yeah, that? Yeah, like uh, yeah, jo I'm so glad they finally locked R. Kelly up. Like, I mean, man, it, it was a matter of that's, time. That's real. That's local. That like, mean, that just but happened. Jonas, it hasn't happened yet. So it has too. He's in jail now. Is he? Yeah, they locked his ass up. He can't pay his own bail. He ain't got no money. How does he not have any money? Because he's broke as fuck and he can't tour now. Sp he's spending. Spending, spending too much. Yeah, dude. Robert. Well, God damn it. Yeah, they said he was in jail and his spirits were low.
Obviously. I imagine so, man. Yeah, you go into jail for all those kids that you fucked. I mean, I How guess you're in trouble. in jail already? They, they, uh, a grand jury said they had enough evidence to charge him, and they arrested him, and he, had, he has to post bail, and he didn't have enough money to post bail. He turned himself in. All because of a documentary, essentially. Well, and, and that's what's kind of fucked up about it. It's like those videos have been out forever. I've heard people talk about those videos for, you know, oh, there's a video of him peeing on a girl. But like now all of a sudden, because they made a documentary about it, people, I don't I don't get why it took so long. Um, They're saying is that back when it first happened, he had enough money to essentially uh, coerce. Oh, so he like paid everybody off and now he's broke. So they're all like. Fuck yeah, it, it's his so comeuppance they, now. And it's just got reopened. I mean, he was look, like a superstar back then. Like, God, he's he's not nearly as big of a uh, uh, celebrity as he used to be. God damn it, Jones. You made it get serious again. I was trying to you go You brought up future. R. Kelly. You tried to go all future right, all right, man. All right, let me try again. Let me, I'm future man again. All right. Uh, uh, can you believe that Takashi 6 9 dropped another song from fucking... Uh, <laughs> what do you call that? San Quentin? <laughs> no. Oh, with the police protect witness oh, witness. protection. Yeah. Can you believe he dropped another track from witness protection? That's crazy. Can you believe that Takashi Six Nine has transcended into a female? <laughs> <laughs> transcended. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, do you feel like a, a female in a male's body? I feel like you are whatever you want to be. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Take that two spot, bitch. <laughs> Our kicker with dreadlocks. Our kicker has the longest dreadlocks ever. And the funny thing is, in his picture, in mm -hmm. the game, he has a shaved head. Oh, fucking like Paul Manafort. I don't know, even know who that is. That's a guy who got in trouble for Trump stuff. But, uh, <laughs> but like, I, I think he has hair. All right, so look, I was at that restaurant the other day. Not today, because this is a different day. Okay. But the other day, and... Like I was, I just wanted to like watch something on my phone because they had like shitty fucking eighties, nineties music playing. I understand, Jonas, you love that shit. I'm not all about it. Nineties? Yeah, 90s. a lot of people like that. It was like nineties rocks, like fucking Third Eye Blind. Oh and, God, I'm not. I'm and, not. <laughs> oh my God! Doot 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 doot. Do. <laughs> and Sugar Ray and oh shit. Oh my God! That's so crazy. I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna listen to something on my phone. So I put my fucking AirPods in. I don't have AirPods. I'm I'm poor. You just put like headphones. In. <laughs> I just put some headphones I got from CVS in, and I'm like, all right, what should I watch on my phone? And I'm like, well, I watch I Crazy Town Media's YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, sure. I'm like, so look, I can't watch video games, so I I want I want to put like Overwatch shit on because I want to get better with my hamster. And I'm like, I can't put that on because I look like a, a child, and I'm like, you know, old and shit. So I'm like, all right, I'll put on some MSNBC. And I start listening to them talking about Paul Manafort. And I'm like, I can't do this. I, I just couldn't do it. It's I not couldn't. fun to no, listen to. No, it's not, dude. Dude, and some people are so passionate about, like, politics and stuff and news. Like, I like news, but, like... It has to be fucked up. Like, if it's not like. <laughs> to be like, I like. I mean, up. if you go back and listen to our podcasts, or any of them, hmm. it's about weird news. Like, weird or fucked up or interesting stuff. Some people would say it is your duty as an adult and an American to know what is happening in, in your world. country and around oh, the world. Oh, I follow news, I read it. So do you know what Paul Manafort's doing? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you know. Yeah, he's the one that got in trouble for... Uh, he, nah, he, he, he did a deal and then he broke the deal, right? That's the guy? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't pay attention to that shit. I'm, oh, you don't I'm shirking your... my responsibility uh, yeah, yeah. as an yeah, oh, yeah, adult. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, I definitely... Like, I, I don't know about it. <laughs> I immediately took that shit off and turned the fucking Overwatch videos on how to get better with the fucking a character I don't even play. Yeah, so that that was my story, basically, oh, is that I couldn't watch it. I was able to watch, uh, like, The Late Show with uh, the guy with the glasses. Ricky Gervais? No, not Ricky Gervais. Yeah, he, Frank Stallone? No, the guy with the glasses. He's got the glasses. He has a face. Oh. The man uh, with the face. J. Cole. N no, he's, uh, he's a Caucasian guy with a face. Jesus. No, Jesus was a dark-skinned Jew. <laughs> Charlie <laughs> Sheen. <laughs> Who? Charlie Sheen? No, the dude on the TV, not Jimmy Kimmel, the other oh, guy. Oh, Steve Colbert. You fucking got it! <laughs> <laughs> That's who it was. Yeah. So I watched that for a little bit. I think he and goes by Stephen, but still. Stephen Colbert. 
How do you feel about Steven with a, with a PH versus Steven with a V? Ooh, I know, Jonas. I asked the hard hitting question. Like, but if it's an A N, it's Stefan. No, no, dude, it's Steven. It's Steven. S T E P H A N is Stefan. It's Steven. But, <laughs> no. No, we're not talking about Stefan Urkel. Stefan Urkel. We're talking about Steven. Steven, um, ooh. I hate the fact that PH. The English language is already fucked Dude. up enough. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be real. There's a lot of there's a lot of Stevens I know that I, that I don't care for. V Stallone. P oh, St Seagal. Steven Seagal. He's a V, dude. Steven. There was a dude I used to know back in the day. He was a V. He was a real fucking show, dude. Really? Yeah, yeah. dude. I don't. I don't think I've ever known. Oh. oh. I don't know if I've ever met a PH I didn't like. A PH? Yeah, dude. I think PHs are quality. But V's the are V's are assholes, dude. right? It's like, ooh. I don't agree with the PH making a V sound, but the V's are not yeah, the nicest. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's like, um, God, what was I gonna? I, I lost the name I was thinking of. Steven? But uh, I believe it's Stephen. Is the name we're talking about? No, no, no. I had another example that was similar to what we're talking about, but it was a. Uh, oh God, Gary, Harry, you son of a bitch! I can't think. Oh that. shit! Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, like if your name. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're just gonna make noises into the microphone. If your now. name is Horatio and you go by Horace. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, that is all the time we have for today's episode. <laughs> yeah, we're off the fucking rails. <laughs> we really are. Please uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe while you're at it. Keep lying to them, friends. Tell them we should watch us. Which Stephen do you prefer? Yeah, which Stephen do you? We have the hot hitting topics. Like which Stephen is better? <laughs> Tell them it's quality fucking YouTube. It's not, but we'll. That's why it's a lot. <laughs> uh, for Jonas, uh, uh, for TNT Dynamite, that's me. We are out. It's a potentially fatal blow to their play.